guys? Just got back from the grocery store. Gonna be doing some chicken alfredo meal prep. So just four ingredients here. We got protein pasta, chicken breast tenderloins, and then we're gonna be making our own alfredo sauce too. So we got cottage cheese and some store-bought sauce. Let's get right into it. So first thing we're gonna do is cut up our chicken. Um, you can really leave it whole if you want to and cook it up that way, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it all up first. This is about a little over two pounds worth. Should be enough for four meals for me. Usually I try to get in around eight ounces per meal. Also, when you're measuring up your chicken, the weight on here isn't gonna be the weight it's gonna be after it's cooked. So your chicken's gonna lose about three quarters of its weight after it's cooked. One important thing to do when you're cutting up chicken Keep one hand clean of the chicken and then keep one hand to do the grabbing and cutting and stuff like that. So I'm gonna keep this hand clean. I can grab the knife, go over and grab some other stuff if I need it. And then I won't touch anything else with this hand because it's got some bacteria on it. All right guys, just finishing up cutting up the chicken. As you can see, we got minimal waste here because I got the breast tenderloin. So really only, this is the only waste I got here. So I need to use almost all the chicken that I bought. All right guys, so we're just gonna hit the chicken with a few seasonings here. Before it goes on the pan, I'm gonna hit it with some garlic powder. It's right on the cutting board here. That's good. And then some oregano. And then lastly, just some lemon pepper seasoning. All right, that'll be it. We're gonna throw this stuff in the pan. So before I throw my chicken in, I'm just gonna hit the pans with a little nonstick here. Add a little bit of oil, make sure our chicken doesn't stick. I'm gonna grab my chicken here. I'm gonna use two pans since we don't really have a, that big of a pan. This is about two pounds worth. Throwing it right in the pan, there you go. Make sure you get it all. All right, so while the chicken's cooking, we're gonna go ahead and get our pasta ready. So, gonna add some water to a pot here, on the stove, bring it to a boil, and then we'll add it in our pasta. So also while you are meal prepping, it's important to you have to have a lot of things going on at once, so to make it move, uh, move quicker, cook your chicken, your pasta at the same time, but also be aware of what's cooking, how long it's been cooking for. Keep timers of when something is gonna be done, things like that. It makes things move quicker, but it also be sure that nothing gets overcooked or undercooked. I'm just gonna hit chicken with a little bit more seasoning. Didn't get too much on the cutting board. A little more seasoning on each. It's already smelling good. Every few minutes I'm gonna come over here, flip the chicken a little bit, stir it up, make sure all the sides are getting cooked. It's starting to get white there, so that means it's getting there. Pasta water's heating up. So once these are looking like they're about done, you're gonna wanna pull out your meat thermometer. I got mine off Amazon here. Uh, try to find a decently big piece of chicken. See there's still some pink in some of these, so it's probably not done yet, but. Stick it in a piece here, read the thermometer. You're gonna want your chicken at like 165 or so. I don't think it's quite there yet. Yeah, it's kind of slowing down a little bit. 155, 156. I'll leave these in here for a few more minutes. Let them cook up a little bit, get some color on them. Chicken on the right here, fry done. So we're gonna go ahead and turn that off. Got some color on there. Yep, 165 and going up, so that's definitely good. Check over here. 167, 178, we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and add those to one pan. Now what I'm doing is, is I'm gonna weigh out my pasta. So per serving is 56 grams. So I'm gonna do five servings of that for my four meals. So 56 times four is gonna be 280. On here with the box and all the noodles is 441. So I'm gonna dump out noodles till there's 160 grams left on there. And then I'll know that I'll have five servings of 56 grams. Okay, 150, uh, that's, 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 right. that's close enough. I don't have to be perfect with this stuff, just kinda get a gauge of how much you're putting in your body. I just put my pasta in, transfer my chicken over from the pan to the bowl. All right guys, so while our pasta's finishing up, we're gonna go ahead and make our sauce. So 
just trust me on this, cottage cheese. I never really liked it as a kid, eating it with the curds in it, but if you blend it up, it's a real smooth cheese sauce. It goes great with uh, Alfredo. You can make it into a queso even. So we're gonna head, we're gonna go ahead and do that. Grab our spoon here. Put in about, I don't know, three quarters of a cup or so. There you go, that's pretty good there. Macros on this stuff is pretty good too. So for a half cup, you got 90 calories, one gram of fat, six grams of carbs, 13 grams of protein. Pretty good protein source for what you're getting here. An easy way to add a cheese to your uh, meals, but not add a whole bunch of fat and calories. So almost pure protein we're getting here. So I just added three quarters of a cup of cottage cheese and then just a splash of milk. I'm gonna go ahead, put our lid on, make sure everything gets down there. There we go. Everything go for a few seconds. I have a pretty good queso recipe with this stuff, so if you guys are interested in that, leave it in the comments down below. I'm, I'll have to make a cottage cheese queso video. Tastes like a string cheese, pretty much, in my opinion. You go ahead and I'll try that, Claude. Let the cameraman try some, see what he thinks of it. Bustin' Willie. Wow. He likes it, I mean, I like it, he likes it, man. Go ahead and give it a try. That's pretty darn good. I'm gonna make a little more, I feel like. Alright guys, so we got about, let's see here, a cup and a half of our cottage cheese sauce. We're going to go in, add our Alfredo sauce now. Wow! Just from Walmart Great Value brand. It's a good low calorie option. Making sure we get our money's worth here, alright? Get every last drop out of there. So you could eat it just like this with your chicken your pasta and your store-bought sauce, but what's gonna take you to the next level right here is adding in this stuff right here. Stir that in. We're gonna add in our noodles after this. It's gonna be great. Pasta is looking about done here. We're gonna go ahead, strain that out, and we'll add it to our chicken sauce. All the water is drained off now. We're gonna add the noodles in here, just like that. I wanna give this a good stir. Sauce on all the noodles. Look at that. I told you to trust me the cottage cheese, boys and girls. And look at this. Creamy, cheesy chicken alfredo. It's going for a bite here. What do you think, Claude? What's your rating? That's an eight. That's a solid eight right there. Mm -hmm. I think if you give this to me at a restaurant, I'm eating it. For sure. And then you factor in the macros, I'd say that's a pretty good meal there. All right, guys. So the recipe is all done here. We have it split up into four equal servings. And then the macros in each serving, 612 calories, 10 grams of fat, 59 grams of carbs with six grams of fiber, and a whopping 74 grams of protein. So this is a complete meal here. You hit your healthy fats and your carbs, fiber, and then obviously your protein too. So I'll put up a screenshot of the entire recipe macros right here. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next one.